is up guys, Alex here with the Hollow Herald and today we've got another app preview. Now as of late we've been going over a lot of, you know, more fun applications, a lot of games per se, but today we're going to be kind of switching back to technical applications and stuff with various uses. And uh, in this app we're going to be doing is called White Cane and this gives aid to those who are blind, people who can't see, and based off of the spatial mapping and sound, allows the HoloLens wearer to know their surroundings even when they can't see. So it's a pretty sweet app, so let's go check it out. All right, so right now, while I can still see, we're gonna test out kind of just how well it can map your surroundings, the, the application can, because I mean, you know, if you can't see, I mean, this app has to be pretty spot on. So we're gonna test it out right now, here we go. Just gonna walk around the office. So far, it does pretty dang good. Black things like this lamp it has a little bit harder time seeing. Yeah, I can't tell that that's there. I should probably mention that this awful noise is how you can tell, you know, whether or not you're gonna die by wall to the face, you know what I'm saying? And it gets louder and louder and louder Woo, the closer you get to an object. It does pick up this bike, which is impressive because games are like, remember like in Fragments, it stuck the little boy like, poof, like right there. So it, it can kind of see that. Picks up the walls, the couches, and the furniture. Like I said, kind of pretty small, and especially if they're black, Hollow, HoloLens has a very hard time getting black objects because like, like for example like when I did Hollands in Darkness like black is registered as nothing so unless it's in pretty dang good light you're gonna have a little bit more of a difficult time scanning black but like in, in light like this there shouldn't be too big of a deal alright here we go we're pretty much all scanned in it does a pretty good job so now we're gonna do the blindfold test okay guys here we are, uh, this is uh, test number two. Now that I can't see, as you see we've, we've blindfolded, uh, I've been blindfolded, and uh, I can't really see, I can't, well I, I can't see anything, so, you know, because we figured this app is for blind people, so what better than to make myself blind. So the whole idea of this new test is going to be, I'm going to walk around, you know, obviously, I mean you've seen our videos, we have a lot of stuff that uh, just kind of all over the place. So uh, this this obviously could get very tedious. So we're just gonna walk around, and uh, this will be our test. Let's, uh, let's 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 check it out here. Oh, the heck, man! No, you're right. I can't see. So here's the this just in. I guess high velocity projectiles do not get scanned in by the app. Jeez, it's just the type of abuse I have to deal with. That alone deserves a like. Oh, okay, there's something here. What is it? Oh, oh, it's the couch. Okay, I know where I'm at now. Okay, all right, let's go for a walk. Let's go outside. So one thing that you're going to want to do is you're going to want to treat it like a cane. They call it white cane for a reason. The little white marker, that's kind of the cane, right? So uh, as you're walking, you're not, you're, you're not going to want to look straight ahead, you know? Because yeah, there's going to be walls straight ahead, but there's also tables and chairs that don't even go up to like waist height on me. So I'm going to have to look down. And you're also going to want to, like, as you're walking, kind of go from side to side because like you know like we've got desks and stuff on either side if I hit that you know that's that's a computer going okay it kind of didn't really pick this up which terrifies me let's try this again okay yeah there it is there it is there it is where where is it oh yeah it was close okay yeah you can see that's pretty loud you can also adjust the volume and make it as loud as you want it to be, just note that that's gonna mess up with 
if you're used to the volume, you're going to want to leave it alone because that's going to, you know, obviously change. Okay, there's something big coming up. Maybe. Ooh, there's something right here, isn't there? Jeez, it's getting louder. It's getting louder. Okay, so there's nothing really over here. There's something over here. Oh, it's getting louder. It's getting way loud. It's getting super loud. Oh, here we are. Okay, we found it. Jeez, that's super loud. Okay, I gotta turn that down. Okay, all right, we're good. Okay, and as you can see, the white cane, I talked about this for a little bit, it'll only pick up where the green uh, mapping already is. So for example, like a window, it kind of has a hard time looking through windows. What is this? Oh, we're by the door. No, yes, 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 door. This is door. Where's the thingy? Okay. Let's go outside. Austin, do you know if the... Oh, see, tracking's been lost. It'll pick itself back up. Okay, we're good. Is the light on, Austin? Okay. All right, so we're gonna go down the hall. Kind of towards the end. There's some stairs. So just kind of kind of keep scanning as we go. See, there's... I kind of feel my way along and it shouldn't be too bad. I'm gonna want to keep looking. Okay, I'm, I'm not going to, to feel for anything anymore. Just so we can like kind of keep using the app. Alright, so walls probably right over there. It's getting pretty loud. Alright guys, there you have it. White cane for the HoloLens. You know, this, this application I could see being a very big help. Now, I'm not blind, and, you know, nobody else here is blind, so right, right off the bat, we don't really have anybody that we could use it on. However, you know, like, like with our eyes closed, like, I could definitely tell. And it would also take practice, you know, but with practice, you could easily maneuver through your house. You know, there, there are a couple of stipulations, a couple of hindrances. For example, it, uh, it doesn't always remember uh, what has been mapped. So as you go back sometimes, you know, your hallway will be a little bit offset and you, you think you're running into a wall when you're not or you do run into a wall and you don't expect it. So there are a couple things that that you could, that, that need to be, you know, a little bit more fine-tuned. However, this app has a lot of potential and I'm excited to see where it goes in the future. This could be a very big help to a lot of people and give kind of a, a, more, a more technical use for the HoloLens aside from just big companies. So this is also something that's very, very, very exciting that this app brings to the HoloLens. So once again, if you haven't already, like and subscribe, you know, and if you, and if you uh, know of anybody that could relate to this, this application that could use it or benefit from us, let us know, you know, and you know, give us a couple other uses perhaps, you know, stuff that we haven't thought of that you do. Comment down below and let us know. Once again, thank you so much for your support. We love you guys. Take care.